Note to self. If you see a guy, go ahead and shoot him. Don't just look in a different direction and let him shoot you and your teammates in the side. Pro tip. Alright, welcome to the next part of our Iron Man playthrough. Uh, today we're doing VB IEDs R Us. We need to eliminate all the terrorists. We've come across a IED manufacturing facility. No civilians or hostages here, so we're just coming in to do some damage. In the last episode, Jones and Macaulay here got injured, so they're not going to be with us for this mission. They'll rejoin us on the next one. Um, so we've got eight operators here. We're taking six assaulters and two support gunners. Now we're bringing them for their wall breaching capabilities. Um, and then we're just bringing frags on everybody. Since they're trying to blow us up, we're just going to blow them up instead. Uh, everyone's got level four plates and same up here. Level four plates, frags, and slap charges for these guys in case we come across any locked doors. So we will go ahead and get started. Got a solid wall here. Uh, we could do some breaching, uh, wall breaching, but we are worried about where the IEDs are. Uh, since we have to go in and blind mod on, we obviously don't know there could be an IED right here. And if we place an IED, uh, wall charge on top of an IED, that might become a very big explosion and kill everybody. Uh, we don't want to do that. Um, so we are going to go ahead and make entry through what looks like a little road right here. We will stay silent until we have to go loud. Uh, stealth to contact is always fine. So first up, we're going to start to bring these guys around so that they can see a little bit. And we'll start to move everybody else up as well. So we'll continue to just press along a little bit. Okay, we've got two guys, so we'll get two guns in the fight. Go ahead and continue to sneak around. Clear out the rest of that. Looks like they turned and saw us, so we're going loud now. Get everyone on fire mode. So we broke through that window and that gave us a good depth into the back of this structure. Um, so we've only got windows on this side. Uh, still no doorway. So we'll go ahead and get our team moved in here. We're just going to hug this wall with him as he continues to look down. He'll be first in over here. And we'll start to move up in here. Having a hard time grabbing these guys. All right, so we do want to continue to watch deep here. And then we also want to watch these windows as we push past them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a heavy head. So we're just gonna have two people up front. These guys continuing to follow along. So with this heavy head, as we take out that guy, he's gonna be able to continue to watch long while this inside guy uh, turns and watches the window. So we'll go ahead and press up with him and we'll press up with this guy. He will watch the window and we will continue along. Same deal with him. Watch that window as he comes across. Holding. And continue with the next guys. Alright, so now same deal here, uh, we're going to want to be cautious as we come across this window. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do though is get a frag around this corner if I can. Or actually, looks like we can throw one super deep into this. So we'll start with that. Start getting some frags out. Okay, so looks like that set off a little chain reaction there, so that was a good call. Uh, so this area should be cleared out now. We'll go ahead and get another. So it looks like he's, he is still, he does have the best angle. So I'm going to bring a guy up here with him. So 
if someone's holding the best angle on something, we don't really want to give that up to have them throw a grenade. So I'll just, since we've got plenty of guys sitting right here, I'm going to bring him some support so that he can throw a grenade. And we'll try and get that as far over here as possible. Looks like that's going to be it. Okay. I'm just curious right now. Okay, yeah, we can't throw a grenade through something with drapes, which makes sense. All right, so this room here, I'm pretty confident is cleared out uh, from those giant explosions that went off after our grenade. So we are going to do the same thing on this set of windows. We're going to pull him all the way across. He's gonna watch this window and then turn out as well. I have him watching these windows. Okay. Need him to go ahead and turn out. So we're, we've got good coverage into this side of the building. Uh, now we need to go ahead and get across this window with these guys. We'll do the same deal. We'll just have them quickly roll. And then he will be the last one watching that window. Boy. Now we can start to move across. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to have these guys pushed up all the way against that window. And we'll have these guys come across behind them. And then we're going to get ready to take this area here. So I'm going to start with a grenade. As far down here as I can get one. That looks nice. Okay. So... We're going to sort of flow up into this structure as well as take this courtyard area uh, since they're still watching windows. So what we're going to do is push him across and then he's going to continue here and come down. So the idea is that they're going to get there at the same time. Push him all the way across here. And blue will be able to come here with him. And green will come to here. So we're still doing the old left, right, left, right type of type of motion here. So orange here is coming to the left. Pink is coming to the right. Yellow is going to the left. Blue is going to the right. And green is going to fill in in the middle. So we'll see how this works out for us. Very well. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and push him in here. These guys will roll these windows on their way across. And then he's going to be the last guy. Light blue here. We'll be the last guy watching our rear. So we can just hold this for a second. Holding. No reason to get in a rush. Alright, so we do have an open door down here. We've also got... Looks like some uncleared space here with an open door. And these guys have a good uh, setup in this stronghold into this room. But we'll push them across just to make that pretty or to get them online. Uh, what I'd like to do is get a grenade as far down here as I can. Clear out any space down here. Everyone's still okay. All right, that was another, seemed like a rather large explosion. So I'm gonna have these guys clear this structure. Um, so we've got one, two, three, and then I'll get them a fourth. They've already got one. They could probably clear with three and we'll take four down here. So I'm going to leave him watching this door in case someone comes out. 
And I'm going to get these guys set up to take this door. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get a frag in this corner. And a frag down into here. Everyone's covered there. I have him come step off so that he can throw a frag into here. Possibly. Not yet. Holding. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have these guys push across here. So this is sort of like a, I'm gonna treat this as a center fed room. Um, I don't know if y'all can sort of see the geometry there of this being in the center of something like this. So what we'll do is we'll get these guys pressed up as far as they can. And then how we typically take a center fed room is we're either going to have each guy push across or double button hook. Um, I think in this situation, we've already cleared out most of this space. I think we're okay doing a double button hook, especially because of the angles here. If there is someone hiding right here, we're not really worried about him shooting this guy in the back as he enters. So we're going to do a double button hook and then press into the center. All right, so this top bit is cleared and now we just need to hold, we'll have him continue to hold coverage here while these guys maneuver down this way. Okay, so that's something that we missed there, uh, where we got injured. Yep, Nolan took a round there. Um, so that's a little bit of our overpenetration here. So we didn't really take this into account. We had this guy watching this door. Um, we don't we don't want him to move. I want to talk about my mistake game. So we had this guy watching this door, uh, which is good, and we were watching this door, which is good. Really, he doesn't have a job now. Uh, I guess he's sort of looking through this window. But the problem is we haven't made entry down here. So we've got an open door here and you can still see this bullet trace. Um, he can see straight across here. So as we started to push down, we don't have any muzzles down here. We were talking about tossing a frag in here, um, but we didn't because we can't seem to get a good angle on that frag where um, the extra frag isn't going to come back out and hit us. So, made a mistake here. We'll learn from it. We can we press on because there's no pauses um, in this. So, we'll continue. I am going to go ahead and have him do a center check and get ready to enter though. And we'll go ahead and keep him there for one more second. Okay, so he's done a center check. So now we're going to enter. We'll come in. Okay, so now they're in the structure. We'll pause that for one second while we continue here. Same deal. I think a center check is going to be most appropriate with the sort of roll on that door. And then we will press these guys in. All right, so now the bottom hole structure is cleared. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep him on those windows to make sure no one jumps out. And now these guys can all get in here and have some fun in this fight. So we'll get them all in here quickly. We'll go ahead and get you looking in the right direction. So he's going to continue to hold our rear coverage. And now we're going to have pretty much the full team to take the rest of this building. So we will start with a frag in here if we can. Excellent. So we can see this line here. Um, none of the frags are going to come back and hit us. So we'll get a frag deep in there. This is obviously cleared. And we'll start to press up. We do want to worry about these windows. They are open windows. Uh, so we sort of got to treat that like a second door up here further down the hallway. So like one door here and then a second door over here. So I'm going to have him hold long cover. 
while he gets ready to come into this door. And we'll get everybody stacked up. We'll go ahead and let our uh, Nolan come in last. But we're going to roll this door. So we're going to center check and be looking in. Meanwhile, he's going to push all the way across. Watch here. And these guys are going to come in with him. So after this center check, all right, so after this center check, we're going to make entry. So we've got a center fed room here. We've obviously got another open door here on the left. Um, so off of this center check, I'm gonna have him, we can obviously already see this room. He's gonna have to come here and put his plates in this door. So he's gonna be blocking this now. Number two, he's going to come in and go the opposite direction over to here. Obviously looking forward and then rolling around. Number three, he will come up to here. And number four is going to continue to the right. So we went left, right, left, right, left, and then we'll have him up down here all right that took him a long time to shoot here looks like banana guy and Nestor also got hurt there coming through that last door um, so we'll have to watch that back I'm really not sure why they took so long to shoot uh, we'll see if we can get that in the in the replay but for now we will go ahead and get started with the replay uh, so we can see our guys here we're trying to get nice angles to take them out silently but they we break this glass with the gunshots and they they do hear us so i think i just forgot to pause here while i was explaining why we're not doing a breach here uh, but just for redundancy sake we didn't breach here because we don't know if there's ieds down here Holding. so now we're going to work on this heavy head Holding so that we can move across these windows. Still holding good long coverage. Get a grenade super far back, uh, which ends up setting off a chain reaction. So glad we didn't just rush in there. Uh, always nice to clear with frags. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so now we want to get a frag deep down here. We didn't have Bremer throw it because we don't want him to expose himself while he's throwing a grenade. Again, roll across that window. Press up on these, and now we're ready to move down here. So we're gonna take this room and this courtyard area at the same time. So we send one left, one right, left, right, and then pick up over here. So since this is all cleared out, we go ahead and get people situated. He's holding our rear coverage on these windows, and we get ready to take this side of the structure. We get a nice, another grenade down here. So we have these guys hold up, watch this door, and get ready to move in Holding. to the bottom structure. Holding. Double grenade. And then this is, we're treating this sort of like a center fed door, because we've got dead space on both sides. So we take that and hold up. This is where our mistake happens, where we push across. We don't take into account that there's a line of sight all the way. So we either should have fragged this previously, or we should have sent these guys in at the same time that we were pushing this, these two across. So now we're bringing everyone around to get up and clear this last building. We still got one up here holding our coverage. So once we get everybody inside, we'll go ahead and get a frag deep into the corner. And now it's gonna be time to take this room. We treat this like two rooms, uh, so we need to keep cover and uh, yeah, let's drag this around to here so we can watch this one more time. So obviously he cannot see yet. Um, so right here, he's he's cleared straight ahead. He's working on turning his way to the left here. 
As this guy comes in and is facing to the right, he should start shooting right away. So I don't know if that's my bad because of we told him to check this angle at some certain point there. But as soon as he comes through and he sees this direction, uh, we should start shooting. So just use that as a learning point. If you're getting shot in the side, don't uh, just you know stare into empty space. Uh, go ahead and look at the target and shoot back. So thankfully here we do end up taking him out before anyone gets killed. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're learning a few things along the way uh, with respect to how the game works, but also the uh, tactics and strategies that we're using. So if you guys could drop a like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, uh, whoever you guys do your training with, uh, that way we can learn from our mistakes together. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the Iron Man playthrough and we'll see you in the next one.